This is a subject that I've been waiting to bring up. We didn't have time to bring it up yesterday. And that is the subject of Tucker Carlson. As you know, uh, and you may not know, but the top writer for Fox News, uh, Tucker Carlson's show, for years has been using, uh, you know, uh, another name on social media hiding because he's a coward James Blake now. Uh, to post bigoted remarks on this online forum that is a hotbed for racist, sexist, and other offensive content. Uh, CNN Business, by the way, broke this story. If CNN Business did not break this story, this guy would still be the top writer for Tucker Carlson. Uh, just this week, the writer, uh, as J.D. mentioned, uh, Blake Neff, responded to a thread started by another user back in 2018. The subject line, would you let a, a jet black Congo N-word do LASIK eye surgery on you for 50% off? Now, this is the person that is uh, one of the top writers at Fox News, and it's despicable. And I'm not even going to read you know, some of the other stuff that he said over the course of, of several years, but uh, a memo sent to employees on Saturday afternoon after the story was first published, Fox News CEO Suzanne Scott and President Jay Wallace condemned horrific, racist, misogynistic, and homo homophobic behavior. Well, it sounds like a lot of people on the platform of Fox News, if you ask me, certainly Tucker Carlson, certainly Laura Ingram, to say the least. So Tucker Carlson addressed this, but let's keep this in mind. I want to give you guys a little bit of context here. In the last few weeks, Tucker Carlson called two people who painted over a Black Lives Matter sign on a public street, called them brave. At the same time, he went after a sitting Democratic senator who lost both of her legs in war. Who also called George Washington a um, traitor. Okay, well, you can call George Washington a traitor and still be a hero. That is not a defense for going after someone who lost two legs at war, and he called, he, he went after her patriotism, he said she hates America, and he even took it a step further and called her a coward. And, and he, Hold on. Uh, and he offered her the opportunity um, to come on uh, the show, uh, and, 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 she and, has, she, and she refused to uh, do it unless actually, he apologized yes, to her yes. and said that he was wrong. And, and I think most people would think that that was very reasonable when you have a woman who served this country honorably and lost both of her legs, and you have a talk show host who never served this country who went after her patriotism and called her a coward – I think it is very, very reasonable for her to say, you know what, give me an apology and I will come on. She is no coward. In fact, she is the opposite of a coward because she risked her life and she lost both of her legs because she loves this country and she is brave. There is nothing brave about someone who puts graffiti on something. Would you call somebody grave, uh, brave in the Black Lives Matter protest that graffiti buildings and stuff? That's exactly what these people did. The Black Lives Matter sign was there because the people who put that there actually went through the legal process of doing yeah, yeah. so. They, they got a permit they from got the government yes. in, in Martinez, California. Yes. Right. And it is illegal for what that couple did. There is nothing brave about breaking the law, but, and there is nothing brave about being a dope. And that couple, they are extremely ignorant. But they by took, that logic, what if <clears throat> if they're being considered for a hate crime for, for what I they— I didn't say I agree no, with that. No, but, but they I are. Did, I didn't now, say by, I agree with that. By that, that logic, then every single— I didn't say I agree with that. Property okay. that was publicly defaced during the protests and the looting okay. and the rioting okay. should be considered for the I, exact same. There, okay. There's a double standard okay. that's being so, created. So there. let me be clear. I never said that I uh, agree no, that I'm it was a hate crime. I'm just expanding on it. I know. Right. I don't, I'm just telling you my opinion. I don't agree with the hate crime. Okay. I know what a hate crime is. This is not a hate crime. For example, if that dope in New Hampshire sucker punched one of those Mexican men, that would have been a hate Absolutely. crime. Absolutely, okay? 100%. This is totally not a agree. But it's still a crime what these people did. The reason why I'm bringing this up, J.D., is I'm giving a little backstory on Tucker Carlson, what he's done the last couple weeks. He called those people brave. I'm sure you would agree with me. There's nothing brave about what they did. That's not brave. They were breaking the law, and they're idiots, okay? But the point is Tucker calls somebody like that brave, a white couple that paints over a Black Lives Matter sign illegally, have you? And, of course, Tucker doesn't mention that the sign wasn't graffiti. They were, it was totally legal. So Tucker calls them brave, but you have a woman who lost both of her legs because he disagrees with her politics. He calls her a coward, goes after her patriotism. Well, now all of a sudden Tucker is addressing this resignation. By the way, he's taking a little fishing expedition. This was Tucker last night addressing this resignation of his top writer on last night's show. Have a listen to this. Over the weekend, you may have seen stories about a writer on this show called Blake Neff. For years, since he was in college, Blake posted anonymously on an internet message board for law school students. On Friday, many of those posts became public. 
Blake was horrified by the story and he was ashamed. Friday afternoon, he resigned from his job. We want to say a couple of things about this. First, what Blake wrote anonymously was wrong. We don't endorse those words. They have no connection to the show. It is wrong to attack <laughs> people for qualities they cannot control. In this country, we judge people for what they do, no. not for how they were born. We often say that because we mean it. We'll continue to defend that principle, often alone among national news programs, because it is essential. Nothing is more important. Blake fell short of that standard, and he has paid a very heavy price for it. But we should also point out to the ghouls now beating their chests in triumph at the destruction of a young man that self-righteousness also has its costs. We are all human. When we pretend we are holy, we are lying. When we pose as blameless in order to hurt other people, we are committing the gravest sin of all, and we will be punished for it. There's no question. <laughs> First of all, what do you mean he had no connection to the show? He was your top writer, you buffoon. No, what, he, what he's saying is that I, those, I know what he's trying to say. Those words were not <laughs> right. conne connected to the show. I know what he's which trying is to true. say. I know what he's trying okay. to say. Uh, and I would I would disagree. I think that when you listen to Tucker Carlson, who this is the same idiot who said the idea of white supremacy is a hoax a week after 22 people died at the hands of a white supremacist, there is a connection. And by the way, he was your top writer, you dope. And by the way, he said, we are all human. Sure, I agree with that. We're all human. Doesn't mean we're all racists. Your writer was a racist and you are a racist. And the words you use on your show defend what I am saying. Tucker is a piece of garbage as far as I am concerned. Tucker is also by far the highest rated Academic. TV host. Academic, in, uh, to he, my opinion. He actually broke the ratings record a couple weeks yeah, ago. A, a, completely academic. Tucker's ratings are three times that of Chris Cuomo and Don Lemon. Completely academic. I'm saying pe people do enjoy Tucker Carlson. Uh, I, and I really think that, I'm Blake, sure they that, do, that Blake, Neff, Blake Neff was probably an exceptional writer. I mean, he was, he was a very good writer. I don't care. For, for the show. You could be. Which I think it has a Kevin lot, to do, with, I a don't lot care. to do with why he is taking this four day break, which was planned regardless, but okay. the, the, why he's taking this four day break to kind of you know, reconfigure mm -hmm. their, mm -hmm. their structure for the mm -hmm. show, which well, here's, would make sense. Here will be my response to everything you just said. Kevin Spacey is a fantastic actor, but he's also a child molester, so I don't care how successful somebody is. Uh, Weinstein, okay, was a fantastic movie maker, he's a piece of crap. So I don't care how successful somebody is. I care about their character, okay? Yeah, Tucker Carlson has listeners. He has viewers. So what? The things he has said on the show just in the last couple of weeks show his character. Don't even make me go back to the things he said on the Bubba the Love Sponge show. It's disgusting to me. You can get ratings and you can be successful without being a racist pig. It is possible in this society. He's also being considered as the front runner for the GOP in, in 2024. Well, why am I not shocked at that at all? The man that said the idea of white supremacy is a hoax, the man who goes after a sitting Which was totally wrong. The the man who goes after a sitting US senator who lost both of her legs deployed in Iraq, who attacks her bravery and calls her a coward, the GOP the GOP wants him to be the, you know, their guy. Well, why am I not shocked at that? But I want to take this a step further because we talked a little bit about this fishing expedition, which, by the way, I also disagree with you on. The last time that this man was in a lot of hot water, Tucker Carlson, the last time he said misogynistic, racist things that came out with this Bubba the Love Sponge interview, if you recall, uh, he said some awful, racist, terrible things on that show. All of a sudden, within 48 hours, Tucker Carlson is on a fishing expedition. Do you find it convenient that all of a sudden Tucker's going on another vacation? By the way, Brian Kilmeade is filling in for him, yeah. and I guarantee you Brian Kilmeade will do a better job. I don't always agree with Brian Kilmeade, but I, I, I don't think Brian Kilmeade uh, has anywhere near the horrific character that Tucker Carlson is. I think Brian Kilmeade is actually a decent guy. So this is Tucker Carlson who says he's going on another fishing trip. Have a listen to this. Going to spend the next four days trout fishing. <laughs> Long planned. This is one of those years where if you don't get it in now, yeah. you're probably not going to. If something dramatic happens, of course, we'll <laughs> yeah. be back. Yeah. We've got some tape segments for you. Brian Kilmeade will be <laughs> sitting in. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, if you don't get it in now, I'm, Tucker, I'm sure it has absolutely nothing to do with the fact that your writer for years, your top writer for years, is a racist bigot pig just like you.